<laughs> Kick the pumpkin test three. Well, thank you for contributing to the testing there. Yeah, well, thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having an excellent night. Try not to wait too long before we get started here because we have a big schedule. We have Home Alone 1 and 2, which I'm hoping to play. I have no idea how difficult this is going to be. I've never seen a full playthrough of this game. I haven't played this game for probably more than a couple minutes, so it should be interesting. Tanisha, I'm doing better, thank you. I'm feeling much better than I was a week ago, so... I uh, figured I'd give the old streaming a shot here, getting ready for tomorrow night, because tomorrow night I hope to stream the new Mario Kart DLC track, so I figured this would be a good test run for that. Home Alone, Mario Kart, what's the difference, really? Uh, Zapper's doing very well, Miles Luigi. Hogan's Alley's great. Uh, you get the three different modes there, the one where it's just like the panels that flip around, and then the one where it's more like you, you know, travel down the alley and shoot the panels, and then you get the weird can game, and I think there's a WarioWare game that references that. One of 9Volt's boss games is like the can thing. But yeah, Hogan's Alley is a lot of fun. I really tried to push mode B to see how far I could get. I think round 7 was my record. It's, a, it's really tough. But of course it's one of those games that goes on forever, so... Thank you, Tanisha. I appreciate that. Alexander, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Kick the Pumpkin. Feeling pretty good. So yeah, this is the, the title screen. Kind of seems to loop around very, uh, you know, very quickly. There's not much to it. So I read through the manuals, of course, before playing these games, as I always do. Uh, and I've noticed that Home Alone, like they literally, even in the manual, spell it with all capitals except for the E. I've never really thought much about that before. I didn't think of it being like the official stylized way to write the name of the movie slash game. Is that because, you know, the E, it's alone? It's the only small one? Like, it's really random. All these years I've been watching these movies, I've never once thought about how the, how the title is written like that. But yeah, otherwise I'm feeling great tonight. Just be aware that uh, some of my ears are kind of like a little plugged still for whatever reason. That's like the only thing. Otherwise I feel great. So if I start screaming at the microphone, <laughs> I apologize. It's just because everything sounds a little quieter to me. Uh, but otherwise, I'm doing well. Oh, shoot, shoot. Uh, my knuckle pressed the start button there. So this is the game. I'll give everyone just another second before I get going. Oh, I hope it all goes well for you, Alexander. And yeah, let me know if all the volume levels sound good. I don't think you should hear any feedback from the TV, but again, everything sounds weird to me, so... <laughs> just, uh, you will be my ears tonight. Azul, welcome! So we're gonna play some Home Alone for the NES here, and from what I've read in the manual, which again, you should always read the manual before you play any NES game, is that we have to just survive 20 minutes. That's all you gotta do in this game, is not get caught for 20 minutes and apparently you win, so we're gonna try doing that. But okay. So here's Kevin, he walks around like that. Uh, it's okay, so then you get chased. Can we, just, can we just run for 20 minutes? No, you get caught. He goes, oh no. And, okay, I guess that's it. You know, I, thought, I thought maybe there would at least be extra lives or something, but no, if you get caught once, that's it. Uh, so we survived about 15 seconds that time. Let's, let's try and improve that. And you can pick up items, apparently. So I picked up a, a light bulb, it looks like. And you can hide in things by pressing up. But I don't know how you tell what you hide in. And they just really creep up on you. And that's it. Oh god, maybe this, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Okay, so you can go upstairs. And you pick up cars. You can't even really tell what item it's showing down there. Like, you press select to circle through them, but... It's hard to even tell what's going on, so... Like, when you press B, you drop it. Like, is that gonna do something? Then he just kind of melts. So what stops me from just, like... Like, I really don't know what the strategy is here. Like, I should just keep picking up items and dropping them then? I need to get used to the layout of the house, which I guess when I press start, it shows... Okay, so... One of those flashing bars is me, I guess. And then the other two are gonna be Harry and Marv. 
So it's good that at least that it at least shows you like where they always are. So there shouldn't be any sneak attacks. 20 minutes, what a short game, right? It's funny how like some games can take like days and then you can beat this one literally in 20 minutes if you are perfect your first try. Well, one of these Home Alone games is in your worst list. Now, here's the thing is that I have actually beat both Home Alone games on the Super Nintendo. Uh, where they are not nearly as bad. I found that, like, the Home Alone 1 on Super Nintendo is nothing like this. It's actually, like, four levels and feels like a real game. Okay, so, well, why does it still show the bars over there if I'm now... Actually, there's a big green bar there. Is that me? And, wait, wait, what is happening? Why am I getting stuck? Ugh, the screen's, like, not scrolling properly. And I can just make him melt on the stairs like that, or on the ladder. Yeah, it's so like, the Super Nintendo versions are much better, and I've actually beaten both of these games on the SNES. A rare time when I've beaten the SNES versions of a game, and not the NES version. Uh, and it's because those were just decenter games. Like, they never felt too bad. Uh, so we're gonna try beating them on the NES tonight. Okay, so I am the big green bar now, I guess, in the foyer there. But what are all the flashing lines? Like... I don't get it. Yeah, the sprite runs really weird. Yeah, it's... 20 minutes is pretty low. Oh, but... Ugh. Like, they just sneak up on you, and you can't, you can't really see much of what's behind you. Like, are all the flashing lines... Like, is there more than just two guys? Because in the movie, there was only two of them. Like, I'm so Like, I'm outside now, like... Is, and that's the, how do you even get down to the basement? And would I ever actually want to go down there? Because it seems to me like... Oh, I don't have any items anymore! So he caught me... You go, oh no... I survived a <laughs> hundred seconds that time! And that's the game. Wow. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be figuring out a strategy here. Diego, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I'm going to keep pressing pause to try and figure out what exactly I'm being... Ugh. Okay, that's weird because you don't have to press pause apparently to get off the pause menu. You can press anything. So, like, is that where I killed a man? Because, yeah, now it's showing a flashing bar... Where he just was. Okay, so obviously I, I thought there'd only be two guys I had to deal with. Because that's <laughs> kind of how the movie worked. But I guess the, the game's not always accurate to the movie, as we've learned. It also says in the instruction manual there's some times where you can, like, hide places. I think it was by pressing up, but I'm pressing up, like, everywhere. So will that guy ever come back to life? Or is it just new guys that show up to attack you? I like how just dropping an iron on the ground made that guy melt. Is he gonna come outside and get me? No. So what stops you from just standing out here for the next 20 minutes? Because I will not complain if that works. I'm not asking for more of this game. <laughs> if we can have it done in like 10 minutes, I'll appreciate it. Is time still running while I'm out here? Probably. Is he gonna come out? Oh god, he's coming! Uh, and then the problem is that they they run faster than you. So like once you're in a situation where you don't have an item, you're dead. But what if I just grabbed like all the items and then hit outside? Because <laughs> it seems like they don't come outside that often. So I'm just gonna grab like all the things. And where do your enemies spawn in from? Like from there. Well that was a bad idea. But I can put that there. Like, is this a safe spot? There's probably, like, one safe spot somewhere where the enemies will never think to find you. I would love to find it. Can I pick an item up I've used already? Yes. That is good knowledge. Like, I wish I could see more behind you. The guy can just easily creep up at any moment. Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, oh, see, that, that, that! 
If you can't see what's coming from behind you, how are you supposed to prepare for that? There are so many NES games that have a problem with centering you on the screen. It's ridiculous. Either you're too far to the back, or you're too far in front and can't see what's ahead. That, like, we take it for granted when we play, like, Mario and Mega Man. You're actually in the middle of the screen, but so many NES games could not figure that out. And what a wonderful gift we have here. Another one that just did not know how to program that for some reason. Where's those paint cans, right? All right. Here we go again. So, actually, where's the instruction manual here? How do you hide places up? Press the climb objects. Uh, you can, and you can press up when he's in front of a hiding place. Conceals him from the burglar's view. This only works if there are no burglars in the room when he makes this maneuver. The bandits will keep searching for Kevin, so hiding in one place for more than two searches is not recommended. But, like, I've been pressing up on lots of stuff, and he just doesn't hide. Oh, okay, he's hiding now. Okay. So I'm very curious, how long can I do this? <laughs> if I can do this for 20 seconds, I will not... Oh, okay, and then just, they just decide eventually that, oh, we found you now. And he goes, oh no. So we're good at making it about 20 seconds in. And yeah, so there's not gonna be enough items to like, you know, to do everything. So you gotta, you gotta pick some up after you've used them. So what stops me just, okay. Well, I placed it, but I guess I can't stand right where you placed it, you gotta move. Understood. There has to be a way to glitch this. There, there's definitely a spot where, like, they'll never find you. What if I just stand here? Will they always go up the stairs? I would laugh really hard. Well, so far, nobody is coming. Okay, but you can't pick them up while they're melted on top of them. Got it. Oh god, he is coming. He is coming! Whoa. And we got some tacks now. But, like, I hate it. It doesn't let you know where you can hide inside. It's like, I can hide in here. And he didn't even come up. Interesting. This gives me a minute to look at the chat. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. But here's the thing. This game came out in 1991, according to the copyright screen. There was much better games than this. By 1991, and I think I read in Nintendo Power actually that Star Tropics came out right around the same time as this game, and this game sold well while Star Tropics didn't sell well <laughs> because it was just a, a, a name that people knew. Everyone's like, "Oh my God, Home Alone! That was a great movie. I'm gonna buy this game," and you know it wasn't very good. So it's it's such a shame back then that it was kind of name recognition was what mattered and not the quality of a game and. You know, when they made this, I guess that was kind of what they were banking on. And it's no different than Pokemon, you know? They can just, like, just throw out whatever they want, because they know people, if they see the name Pokemon, will buy it. And I've heard that the game's apparently gotten some upgrades and such. So, hey, that guy can... Okay. Okay. I didn't know they could crawl up the outside wall, but now we know. And I've heard yeah, now that Pokemon's had a few updates, which is good, and... You know, people like the open-world nature and stuff, but it does suck that they know... That just because it's a Pokemon game, people will, you know, look past the bugginess and such. When really, they should be doing a better job on that before they release it. But that's modern gaming, I guess. But hey, we're playing Home Alone, so it's not like we can point back and say everything that came out in the 90s was gold. No, obviously. You know, everything had its problems. So, I'm just kind of up here doing this. <gasps> like, he got up? And he was like, Vroom, and that was it. Well, thank you for subscribing. Your name was like a bunch of <laughs> symbols and such. It was uh, you know, not showing up probably correctly, but I greatly appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Yeah, right? Kick the pumpkin. You didn't think this was a 1991 game. 
<laughs> like you could, you were like, okay, if it's like a 1986 game, we can let it pass. But no, Home Alone the movie came out in 1990, so well, I guess it makes sense. This would be a 1991 game. Ryan, you've actually seen the Home Alone house. That's so cool. Uh, in 2020, before the whole world went to hell, uh, the summer vacation that my family was planning was we were actually going to go to Cleveland and see the Christmas Story house. And now I think I've actually heard that the person who owns that house, and it was a museum and such, is selling it, unfortunately. So I'll now never have a chance to go and see where Christmas Story was filmed. But I love seeing... Uh, you know, movie locations and such. So that's really neat that you had a chance to go see the Home Alone one. Uh, John Hughes did Home Alone. And it's funny because you watch, uh, I watched like Plane Trains and Automobiles today. And the house used in that movie is like almost exactly the same as the Home Alone house. It's probably like a few streets over. Uh, John Hughes was very obsessed with, with Chicago. All of his movies take place in Chicago. I don't know about The Breakfast Club but it's probably also Chicago. So like, how long will that keep me safe? I just placed it down. But like, you, how do you tell the difference between a trap that you've placed and like, like one that will hurt them and then one that's just kind of sitting around? <laughs> Unfortunately, no one in this game, there's probably no way to tell the difference. Okay, let's just pick up all the stuff. And I feel like sometimes the buttons don't work, so that's great. Like you press the uh, you know the B button to drop a trap. And it's like yeah, game doesn't know how to do that. And because I placed that trap right where another one was, I couldn't pick up the one that I was supposed to be able to pick up. There you go, picked up both those guys. So what stops me just from running back and forth like this? Because this is working pretty well. I I'm, I can get behind this. Just doing this all day. <laughs> I'm willing to do this for 20 minutes if it means I never have to play this game again. Oh, and they actually disappear for good eventually. Well, that's nice to know. Your name is to cause confusion. Well, I appreciate your subscription anyway. And yeah, AVGN, of course, this is one, uh, you know, you can't skip. It's definitely not a great NES game. Uh, you like uh, Home Alone so much more than Christmas Story. Yeah, they definitely both have their charm to them, right? Uh, I love Home Alone 1 and 2. Before streaming services were a big thing, I remember the Christmas where uh, there was like not a single moment on TV that either Home Alone 1 or 2 wasn't on. Like Home Alone 1 would finish on one channel, and then I'd change the channel to Home Alone 2 on another channel. And then after that, Home Alone 1 would be on again. And then like Home Alone 1 and 2 would be on. And I would just, that whole December was like flipping back and forth between the two movies. It was awesome. I could just watch them over and over and over again. Even though, you know, they're nonsensical and there's a million different reasons why you can point out that they wouldn't work and all that. They're just fun movies. They're just fun movies. And I think I like, I lean towards Home Alone 2 more just because I love seeing you know, 90s New York City. It's it's fun to look back on that sort of thing where Home Alone 1's a lot more basic. He's kind of just stuck at home. But of course, they're all great. But all right, so like, he's running around. If you press down, I think it said on the chandeliers, they drop. So we'll try that. <laughs> One of the few things we haven't tried now. But okay, we'll actually try and win this game. How about that? Just one of the most important things about playing a game you've never played before is kind of like learning the different ways that it works. And I'm still kind of confused how exactly this game works. Can you drop a thing while you're climbing across the thing, I wonder? Like, I feel like you could get really stuck here. If two guys show up on each side of the rope, you would just be dead. Like, they just show up out of nowhere, and it's like, how do you prepare for that? 
And you get all these flashing lines. I guess that's just where you got guys with a trap, but I would rather know where the bad guys are, not where I've made them melt into the floor. Home Alone 2 has the bricks to the head, that's right. I love like the half-finished uh, apartment yes, he goes through in that movie. Yeah, Home Alone 2 is great. Oh, Brian, that's great. I've always wondered what it must be like to live in a house that was used for a movie. Like, you always hear uh, the people who live in the house from Breaking Bad. People would still show up and throw, like, pizzas on the roof. Or the Goonies house. I think, uh, I heard they got really frustrated. People would show up and do the truffle shuffle in front of it. It must be really weird living in, uh, living in a house that was used in a movie. But if you should be able to figure out a way to, like, make money off that. Like, that sounds like the best business opportunity, is like, you know, five bucks and I'll take your picture doing the truffle shuffle or something. Or like the Breaking Bad house, it's so easy, like, just charge people 50 bucks to throw a pizza on your roof and you could probably make so much money. The 90s Gaming Guy, welcome, hope you're having a great night. Yeah, isn't that funny, is even though I think uh, John Hughes also wrote Home Alone 3, it's like, yeah, I can't even compare to the first two. I'm not sure. It, it, it feels very much like a, a reboot, I guess. You know, back before reboot was like a common thing. Home Alone 3 feels like it's very much trying to just be a reboot of the series. Does he catch me? Okay, sure. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work. Is it's like okay, we just saw this concept of the kid being stuck at home. I think they tried to sign Macaulay Culkin to a contract where, like, after the first Home Alone, then he would do Home Alone, t uh, Home Alone 2 and the Home Alone 3. I, I'm always really curious what the third one would be about if they had done that. Because I, I think that, um, you know, Lost in New York, it's a great concept. You know, he's stuck at home in the first one, but you got to do something more than that in the second one. So they got him stuck in this big city. But where do you go from there? Where would, like, a real Home Alone 3 take place? You got to wonder. So is this a dead end? This is... Can you go down the chimney or anything? A fireplace on the second floor. Fascinating. Well, that guy woke up really fast. And like, what determines how fast the, the robbers move? Like, that guy is slow. It feels like he's picking up speed, though. No, I didn't want to put that down. Okay, I'm trying to hide. So, like, if I do that, let him run by. Like, he just decides to beam in all of a sudden. I hate that you get no indication of where they're coming from and when. Like, if I try going up the stairs, what if he wakes up, like, while I'm over top of him? Probably not great. But this doesn't seem like a bad strategy. I'm just kind of dancing around the stairs here. I wish there was a clock on the screen or something. It sucks to, you know, if I have to pause every single time. Okay, here's a different guy now. I'm probably I should probably try to get back down to the main floor. Which I think I'm gonna do. I'm out of stuff, but pick up some more of it. Okay, I can kinda see them coming. Oh, so that's what it means in the manual is if you're if they're in the room when you try to hide They'll just know and immediately come get you. Okay. Okay And again these flashing lights like what do those mean? Weird Home Alone 3 lost in space sure why not hello tuxedo 
Tuxedo Earth. Hope you're having a great night. Azul, welcome back. Yeah, I mean, there's lots to love back in the 80s for sure. There's a lot of great 80s movies. So I don't blame you looking back at those. And of course, 90s movies as well. Yeah, Chicago's weird, right? You hear, like, good things about it, bad things about it. I've been to Chicago way back. Uh, went to, like, the Museum of Science and Industry. If Miles Luigi's still in the chat, I know he was there too. And yeah, uh, Chicago's cool. But you just hear, like, not to, not to be out at night, which kind of seems to be part of the course for, like, every city these days, unfortunately. Man, yeah, I hope you're all having great nights. Uh, I believe the Game Awards were tonight, so perhaps people are like, Game Awards after party, right now. Uh, I think I set a new record this year. I think I watched five minutes of the Game Awards, up from my previous high score of like three or four minutes. I watched the beginning, where they showed Street Fighter VI, and then I came back a couple uh, hours later, and they were showing another trailer for the Mario movie, which looked pretty cool. Uh, and that was it. <laughs> That's what I saw of the Game Awards. So by the year 2080, maybe I'll watch the whole thing. But yeah, otherwise, hope you're all having nice nights. So, like, like, what are all the flashing lights? What does this, maybe those are traps that I've set, but that doesn't make any sense because like, because like another light just showed up. The question I should be asking is, does it show up after it's dropped? Okay, it does. It's just strange all around. Like, what am I even looking at? What is that? Okay, so you can go down into the basement two ways. You can go down this way, I guess. Or from the inside of the house. Right there. I just wish the map would show where the bad guys are. That would be so nice. Like, I can barely see behind me right now. For some reason, it doesn't want to center me on screen. Like, I would love to just be able to see equally to the left and right. But instead, it's like, no, you can't see what's to the right. Yeah, why would you want to see that? Okay, I'm out of items, which is not good. So, like, they're both coming from behind right now, but I can't see what's behind me, so... <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, there we go. So, are there only two bad guys? I could swear I was being attacked by, like, five of them at one point. But if there's only two, so if it actually is like the movie, and it's just Harry and Marv, that feels a lot more manageable. I don't know why I thought there was a whole bunch coming at me. Maybe because I paused and thought all those flashing bars were bad guys. When I'm still confused exactly what these mean. Like, maybe, I guess they're items I could pick up. They're dropped items I can pick back up again? Maybe. Home Alone on Genesis is really good. It's so weird how Home Alone on, like, every console was different. <laughs> hey, but how about Home Alone PS2? That's where it's really at. Oh, wow, Miles Luigi. I had a situation like that where I walked into my high school bathroom and they were like, hey, you're supposed to say you're coming in when you come in. It's like, I just want to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not here to take part in any deals. Uh, but silly me going into a washroom in high school and thinking that it was actually for using the washroom. Home Alone on PS2 never came to the USA. I don't get why there's a Home Alone on the PS2 at all, but it's a question for another day, I guess. So yeah, once you've kind of figured out where they are, as long as there's only two guys, it seemed like at one point uh, I thought there was going to be more than that, but I can deal with two. I can deal with just Harry and Marv, sure. He's like outside, like what is he even doing out there? 
Which is kind of concerning, because I would have liked to have gone back outside. Outside seems like a decent place to go. Uh, if only the map would show you where the bad guys are. Oh, he's in the basement now. Okay. He can hang out down there as long as he wants. And you can only hold three items at a time. So can I just hang out here for a while? This is a really nice spot to be. You can just see everything. I don't know if I can drop a weapon on the ladder or not. But yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here until I have to move. I think I'm holding three items. So I'm pretty well armed. Okay, so he's coming up. And you can drop a thing on the ladder. And there you go. But this is concerning. This is the scary part when you're climbing across the rope. But okay, very good. Still, I don't like this camera. I wish I could see more to the left and right. And for some reason, the camera is scrolled like really low. <laughs> the camera in this game doesn't really make any sense. And in any second now, the guy could kind of creep up on me from the right. Which is really... Not great. But okay. Another spot where I can where I can kinda just, you know, hang out and wait for the bad guys to come to me. Oh god, go down the stairs! Go down the stairs! Why won't he go down the stairs? <laughs> okay, well, we're back outside anyway. Hooray. Although I think I'm only holding one item, which I don't like. I really like having more items than that at my disposal. Okay. Ah, shoot! Like, you drop it, but you can't just stand where it's been dropped. You kind of have to move out to the side of it. Hey, we made it over five minutes that time, though. I think I've got the gist of it down. Okay, is understanding that if there's only going to be two of them, is that is so much easier than I thought there was, like, gradually more of them showing up. Uh, because I can deal with two. Two is easy to deal with. But in my head, I was, like, preparing for, like, five of them, so... That changes how you play the game. Uh, no, this is on real hardware. I saw! So, another thing I checked out, I didn't watch it live. Uh, I was like, okay, well, people make a big deal about what Game of the Year was. Uh, so I went and looked up just the, the clip where they announced that, and some kid comes up at the end and he's like, thank you to my therapist, Bill Clinton, or something. It, I don't get it. Like, was that, did that kid have anything to do with the game? Or did he just, like, sneak up on stage and, and, and say that? It's kind of hilarious if that's the case. But all right. I think we got a winning run coming up, which is the kiss of death to say. I'm gonna knock on some wood over here. I'm not a superstitious person. But... Hey, we can use all the luck we can get in playing a janky game like this. And yeah, let's just beat this thing. Unfortunately, there's not much to comment on. You run around the house. The, we the weirdestly designed house. The weirdestly... Playing a game like this makes you invent new words. I feel like I'm just gonna, as often as, as I can, get back to this ladder. And do that. It's a great spot to just be able to unleash an attack. Like, how do you go down? Stairs are very janky in this game. Like, super jank. Oh, oh. Look how fast he started running. But yeah, it seems like hiding behind objects is not a good idea. It just... There's no guarantee of safety. So I'm just going to keep running around the house. Picking up whatever I can. Wait, wait! You walked right by my cars on the stairs! So you're telling me that dropping an item on the stairs, it's not guaranteed to work? Ugh. Did they even test this game? The Jade Wizard, welcome! Hope you're having a nice night.
Oh, you have pinkified your room. Very nice. I should probably decorate the game room a bit more with some Christmas lights and stuff. Give it a nice ambiance. Oh, good to hear. Yeah, this game's pretty trash, which is why uh, the sooner we beat it, the sooner we can move on to the second one, which I think is slightly less trash. If going by the Super Nintendo versions is any indication. I like, uh, I don't mind Home Alone 2 on the SNES, and I think that the NES version is just like an 8-bit version of that. So, yeah, the sooner we get to that, the better. It, so, th that's the thing about this game, is that you look at the, the time limit, and it's like, oh, it's only a 20-minute game, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, I have to survive this for 20 minutes. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been 10? I guess I'd just be celebrating it's not 30 or something. But okay, we can do this. Two bad guys is not that bad. I like how the music changes when, you, uh, when you're in the treehouse. But I love the surprise in the chat when I said this was a, a 1991 game. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't expect it. You think it would be way older than that. Okay, let's figure this out. How do the stairs work? Okay. So you press down. He won't go down the stairs. Why won't he go down? Okay. You can't get to the end of the step. You have to press down into the left before that. Oh, this is janky. But okay, there's a whole bunch of items down here I've never come and got before. So remember this, if I'm ever running low on items. Is he coming down? He is coming down. Wow, stairs don't work. Stairs do not work. Whoa. That is jank. Nintendo in 1991. What is Q&A? And it got their seal of quality and everything. What a ripoff. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it's cozy. Yeah, I mean, putting up Christmas lights and a Christmas tree. It's definitely a good vibe all around. Yeah, stairs. Like, like these stairs are fine because they're perfectly vertical, but the diagonal stairs don't work. Like, okay, well, those, the, I've had decent luck with these ones, but still not great. I, I don't want to... I just want to go inside the house and grab that iron, but that was too much to ask, so now I'm outside again. Okay, can the stairs work? How does this work? Nope, they're not gonna work. <laughs> so let's just figure that out. How do the basement stairs work? I think that's kind of gonna be a, a key factor in winning. Like, how do you go down these stairs? Is it even possible? I don't, I don't get it. I, I, just, I could swear I've seen the bad guys do it at one point. But <laughs> I'm not convinced it actually works. Oh, oh, oh! What was that? What was that? That's so garbage. This game is such a piece of garbage. And I don't even know where the bad guys went. They, 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 even they don't know what the heck just happened. So they didn't even follow me down here. If I can just like hide here for 20 minutes, I'll take it. I can hide here. So I'll just do that. They don't usually, it says they won't find you on their first pass through the room, so I'll just kind of hang out here and see what the chat's up to. <laughs> Keep on, you can never have too many Christmas trees, if you ask me. Okay. Okay, how do you go up the stairs? How do you go up the stairs? The stairs don't work. I don't have any items. I got one item. Okay. Slowly trying to make my way out of the basement. Nope. Okay, so we figured out how to get down the stairs, I guess. So do I just hold down here? Okay. You gotta hold down to phase through the floor. Got it. And, okay, you have to be in the perfect spot. And then you can go up. 
This one too. If you go too far to the right, you get kind of stuck in the floor. But in that case, this is just really bad. Hey! Oh, okay. I was going to say he phased right through my trap again, but nope. Ugh. What a weird game. I'm just going to hang out here till I see something. I never understood in the movie they like hang him on the back of a door. Like, ow, that would hurt. <laughs> what's the what's worse, this or that laggy game of Mario Party 2 Horror Land? If you didn't see it, my in my last stream we played Horror Land in Mario Party 2. Uh, and the whole thing was just a big lag. It, it lagged from the beginning right to the end. It was the worst game of Mario Party 2. Uh, performance-wise, I've ever seen. Uh, which is too bad, but... <laughs> I mean, it was still kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow I'm hoping to stream the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe map, so... Uh, check that out if you're interested. I'll probably start around... Uh, 8 p.m., I'm thinking, so... Assuming all goes well. But all right... Sticking around. Anybody remember that show? It's a weird show. It used to be a lot of weird shows. And there's probably still a lot of weird shows. I just don't watch as much TV anymore. Whoa, and then they just kind of zoom out of nowhere. Again, I wish there was a clock on the TV. Or on screen all the time. Because I don't enjoy always having to pause to check that. It just kind of wrecks the flow of the game, you know. And with a game like this... Immersion is key. It just completely ruins my immersion. <laughs> Being uh, chased around this dollhouse by criminals. Okay. Where's the second burglar anyway? He's outside. Sure, why not? At least you actually run up those stairs pretty fast. It's not very exciting, but the best strategy for this game definitely just seems to be to find the spot where there's no bad guys and wait until they come for you. Because going out of your way to get closer to them doesn't make all that much sense. So here we go. And again, 16 minutes. Wow, that clock feels like it drags. So apparently, depending on the picture of the trap, it will last a different amount of time. But who has time to figure out which ones are like better or worse? Not me. Oh, I was lucky. And those that was two lucky things just happened right there. Was both those traps working and actually like trying to go up the uh, stairs working. But all right, I think we're a quarter of the way there. <laughs> what I should do is I should set, like, my phone's timer. Watch, the NES clock isn't even right. <laughs> it runs slow or something. Oh, why wouldn't that surprise me? But yeah, running through the house and then back to the tree seems like the winning strat here. What? What? There was clearly a trap between us there. That's... You should not have been able to grab me. Ugh. My five minutes of progress gone. That's right. They hang him on the door and threaten to bite his fingers. 
Showing how jank these games are really show what Nintendo had to do just to make Mario feel right. Isn't that true? And that's what I'm saying. Just like something as simple as having your uh, playable character centered on the screen is something that so many game developers back then had trouble with for whatever reason. Uh, and yet Nintendo could do it. So, you know, you, you got to give them props where it's due. Oh, I have a chocolate one. I have a chocolate uh, advent calendar that has like uh, different Smarties things and different Kit Kat things. You got to get into the the, you know, the Christmas spirit for sure. And no better way to do that than waking up every day to some <laughs> you know sweet, sweet junk food. Where can you go wrong with that? No, the advent calendar was always like my favorite parts of waking up in December as a kid. Chocolate before school, how can you say no? But okay, I think we've got the strat now. We just go through the house, go to the tree, go to the house again. Oh, they got this guy coming. Fascinating. So from what we've learned, it seems like there is a limit to the number of times you can use items, so if I can, I will take the occasional trip through the basement here and pick up some different stuff. Okay, kind of got this figured out. And then back up to the tree again. I don't think I've seen Marv in a bit. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, actually Marv, I guess is probably the guy behind me. And this guy. Okay. Well, I'm all out of items now. There we go. Hey, look at them. They just... It's funny because sometimes I've gotten in, uh, you know, situations where they're not really going after me, but in this case, it's like they are just right on my tail. I want to leave some items. Because I kind of want them to be nicely spaced out throughout the house. So if I need to grab one at some point, there's hopefully not one, you know, too far away. But all right. Three minutes down. <laughs> 17 to go. You remember the Neopets advent calendar? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, online games, having advent calendars like that. That's really neat. Yeah, Neopets. That's one of the sites way back then. I signed up for it. Played it for a few days. The mini games were cute. I have nothing against Neopets whatsoever. <laughs> have a game genie at hand? You wonder how much that would mess up the game? There's probably like, you can't get caught. Uh, change the timer to like one minute. That would be nice. Yeah, it doesn't help that they're faster than you, for sure. But hey, you know, I'll stand here all day. No complaints. <laughs> Where's the shovel guy when you need him? Exactly, right? Well, yeah, nice view from up here. Beautiful starry sky. Looking good. But yeah, after Home Alone 2, I've seen Home Alone 3, uh, and then the, re the rest were like direct to VHS, right? <laughs> so I can't say I've seen those. And then people say there's like a new one on Disney+. Plus. I don't have any streaming services. The only subscription service I pay for is Switch Online Premium Pass, which is why 
I give myself a bit of a pass paying for like the premium version. Is it's like, I don't have a whole ton of subscriptions going. So if that's like the one thing I pay for every year, fine. Plus I think we've had uh, you know, quite a bit of fun with it. But okay, are we at 15 yet? Hey, five minutes down. I don't know if it gets gradually harder as time goes on or if it's like just the same thing. Uh, pretty much 15 minutes is where we've gotten to at this point. Like 15 minutes remaining is kind of our record right now. So I guess we'll find out as time keeps going. As long as more guys don't show up. Understanding that there's only two guys and hopefully that there will always only be two guys. Uh, it's very kind of comforting. <laughs> It's comforting knowing I'm only being pursued by two murderers and not three or four. Oh. Alright, here he comes. And that's the question, right? Is like, should I have gone back to the left? I kind of like the clockwise, uh, clock, um, yeah, clockwise. That's the proper term. Um, motion that we do here. So I think I'm going to keep that up. I got three items. You gotta you gotta cycle through them with select. It can't just nicely tell you that you're holding three things. It's like no, you gotta you gotta figure it out for yourself. We have lots of nice items here. If I ever need to pick them up, so well, do the enemies know where I am right now, or is it like you know they'll search the house until they kind of come across you? The instruction manual goes on about how ooh, this is like a new high-tech game with extremely realistic computer AI interactions. It's like, uh, they'll come after you. It's, it's really bizarre. Yeah, I'd love to be able to see more behind me so that they don't just kind of creep up and murder me. That's a little bit too much to ask for this game, so... I just have two items right now, so I guess I'll pick up a third. I don't know how many times items work before they disappear for good. Seems like it's kind of cheap that you can just, like, run out of items like that. Yeah, watching Home Alone 1 and 2 is definitely a yearly thing for me as well. Uh, there's definitely a lot, a few Christmas movies I try to watch at least once a year. Uh, Home Alone 1 and 2, Jingle All the Way. I've watched Die Hard this year. <laughs> I'm not getting into the uh, debate of if it's a Christmas movie or not. Just honestly, it's a fun movie. Watch it if you feel like it. <laughs> trying to do a thing but the number one rule of this game is never try to do a thing now where's uh where's marv he's gonna jump out of somewhere any second now isn't he there he is welcome yeah i got two items in my reserve I'm like, I guess I'm supposed- I need to travel to more of these other rooms to try and- try and pick more of those up. Mm. 
Do I dare pause and see how much time is left? It's kind of nice not knowing how much time is left because there's no stress, right? If I knew that I had like three minutes left, I'd be like, oh my god, don't screw it up, but... You know? But you would think that in 1991 they could have programmed a clock onto the screen. <laughs> Somehow games for like five years before this had been figuring that out, but... THQ could just not get down how to show a clock on screen at all times. I haven't seen Die Hard for a few years. It's funny because, again, I don't do much streaming services, so I watched Die Hard on TV, and it was the uncensored version, which I haven't seen in a long time. They say the F word, like, every 30 seconds in that movie when it's not censored. I was like, whoa, I forgot about all the swearing and stuff. It's in That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I guess if you watch it on a streaming service, which most people probably would, at the, uh, would these days, it's probably the uncensored version, so just get ready for lots of F words. It's Nightmare Before Christmas, a Christmas movie. One movie they keep showing on TV right now is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And it's like, that's a Thanksgiving movie. You're not even showing it during the right holiday. But it can be a, it's a general movie, right? Like, it's a very relatable problem being somewhere and trying to get home for the holidays or, you know, regardless of what holiday it is. So it, it kind of feels like a Christmas movie. It really does. I think that's partly too, because the U.S. Thanksgiving is so late in the year. Where ours is in October here, uh, up here in Canada, so, you know, it's not as wintry yet in October. But in November, by the time you guys have Thanksgiving, it already feels like Christmas, I guess. Don't you guys get sick of having turkey, like, two months in a row? Please don't come up the stairs, please don't come up the stairs, ah! No! Oh, we were under 10 minutes, ah! ah ha, 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 ha. I don't want to play this anymore. I love turkey too, I could never get sick of it. Okay, we got the strategy down. We just gotta do it again and not screw up this time. I made a risky move I didn't need to make. Because my, my logic is it's like eventually I'm gonna run out of traps, right? Because it seems like maybe after three or four uses they disappear. So I'm like, okay, I gotta kinda go and grab a couple other ones to keep the flow going. And that was my demise. So <laughs> here we are. Hooray, back to 20 minutes. Never before have I been the happiest man in the world knowing that I got at least another 20 minutes of NES Home Alone in my life, but if you could see my face right now, man, am I smiling all day long. Whoa! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. Like maybe that's how, like, that's what I should do. I should start with like the most awkward items. I mean, there's not even any more items in that room. And I can't pick that up again. Okay. Just trying to get a little bit creative here. <laughs> Sonic bandits. Oh, Christian, welcome! You have missed nothing. I <laughs> so, uh, hope you're having a great night. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street's uh, not bad. Uh, and then I watched some Friday the 13th this Halloween. You know, all relevant to the NES games I've been playing. I definitely, I always try to watch the NES game, or rather the movie, that correlates to an NES game before I play it. Uh, so yeah, so that, you know, I have that background information. But of course, if a game is good, it should be able to just be good on its own. It shouldn't have to be, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh, you only enjoy it if you've seen the source material. And as I've been playing through 
Dungeons and Dragons games of all things. They're not great games. <laughs> and I'm always like, well, maybe if I was more into the Dungeons and Dragons lore, I would be more into this, but you know, the games should just be better on their own. It shouldn't have to be like, oh, only people who have done the source material will enjoy it. Wonderful. The one time I was hoping he would follow me down into the basement, and he didn't. But it's alright, we got this. We got this. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons has always fascinated me. Uh, it's just finding the people to do like a really long campaign of it, and then, you know, it's it would probably get tiring after a while. It's definitely a commitment you have to make. If I could get like another one of those times where I just hang out in the treehouse for a while, that would be cool. But they really seem on my tail now. That plays a big part too in your uh, items not wearing out, as if like the guys can just get off your tail for five minutes and not uh, cause you to waste everything. Like another case, whoa, whoa, he's moonwalking. I don't know how, but he's doing it. And now I can't go down the stairs, so I'm gonna be dead. No, it's just, he just decided he wasn't going down the stairs and that was that. Oh. <laughs> No, this isn't the game I want to stream because of Christmas. I still have a very special NES stream coming up. I'm almost done the H's now. After this, there's like five more games that start with H. Uh, after Home Alone 2, and like, that's it. Uh, and the game I want to play actually still starts with G. But I just want to make sure I'm feeling, you know, ship shape for that. So that'll probably be next week at this point. And I mean, I'm feeling great now, but I reached Home Alone on my list and figured, you know, I should probably do that tonight. <laughs> you like how the wet bandits melt. That's a that's a way of looking at it. Oh shoot. Okay, here we go. Like yeah, just let me get to my hiding spot and chill there for like five minutes without anyone attacking me. And uh, I'll be happy. It was that last game, yeah, they were really on my tail. And it just shows you how unpredictable the basement is. I hate those stairs. They're really jank. Pyre, welcome! Hope you're having an excellent evening. I have no defenses. I need to grab something quick. Ah! I'm gonna try it again. It's really enough in the game if I get killed. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, we did it! We grabbed the thing. I'm gonna grab another thing. Perfecto! Alright! So far this has a good start. Yeah, so I think our record currently is 8 minutes remaining. 8 minutes and like 10 seconds remaining on the clock, so... Oh shoot, I meant to grab those taxes I walked by. Not the taxes, you know, the government can keep those, but I'll take the, the tax or the nails or whatever they were to throw around. 
Actually, probably shouldn't have grabbed that. There's probably like three things laying over here already. Whoa. Yeah, they're not giving me any time to just relax like they normally do. Which is frustrating, to say the least. Did they both melt from that same trap? I mean, I'll take it. Maybe not. Maybe it was an optical illusion all along. All right, now if I could just get to that tree and have like five minutes of rest, <laughs> I would appreciate it. No, it can't pick up anymore. Just wait until you get to the sliding in the second game. I'm actually looking forward to the second Home Alone, which is why I want to hurry up and beat this uh, so we can get to it. Because yeah, Home Alone 2 is a fascinating game. And it's also very, very jank, but at least it's a little bit of fun. Unlike this, which is just annoying. Yeah, I can't pick up any of these. <laughs> yeah, you love the walk cycle. It's pretty, pretty weird. We were just moonwalking a couple minutes ago. I don't know how, but he was. But yes, this is what we want, where you kind of just relax. Close your eyes, get a moment of rest before you're on the run again. Oh yeah, it, you could definitely come up with a better idea for Home Alone. If you want a real Home Alone game, play Home Alone 1 for Super Nintendo. It's a decent platformer. Uh, and that's one that I played back as a kid and had much more fun than I'm having with this right now. But all right, perfect. Drain that clock. Drain it. Go, go, go. Oh, still 16 minutes. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be uh, doing it on my phone. Maybe, maybe, if this isn't the final run, then maybe... I guess we're going counterclockwise. I'll do a timer next time. But okay, here we go, Kevin. Going through the house in the opposite direction. He is just on a freaking mission. <laughs> oh, no, shoot, no. Hey, he went right by it. That's not fair. That's not fair. Did you see how fast they were moving? Oh. Oh. Might as well just hang out here for a second. See what direction they come from. If they come from... Yeah, e either way. Kind of have a plan. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. And then, wonderful, wonderful. Please trap me from all angles. But okay, 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 okay. I just need to get to another trap. He is gaining on me. The front door has never been this far. Ever. Ugh. What did I get myself into here? Have you seen the AVGN episode with uh, Kevin's real actor? Yes. Do they get faster as time goes? I don't know. It just seems like sometimes all of a sudden they're really fast.
Like, I'm not sure that there's a rhyme or reason to how fast they move. <laughs> Just seems like the game does whatever it feels like. Oh god. So I think the trap I just placed disappeared for the first guy. Um, again, I'm not sure if there's a way to tell like how worn out a trap is before you place it. But it's always concerning that I'm going to run out or something. I hate going into the basement. I'm just so afraid that the stairs aren't going to work. But we've had good luck so far. And I keep coming down here because it's like a good source of items. And then eventually if there's like nothing else to come grab down here, I'll just forget about it. But yeah, putting items on the stairs is very scary. There we go. Is it gonna work? It worked. Anytime it wanna gives me one of those like breaks where I just hang out here for a while and nothing comes after me, I'll take it. Maybe I'll skip the basement this time. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's really scary how it's just like the basement works. I hate it. So I think when I placed it, it was black. So maybe the, the color of the traps changes. Depending on how many uses it has left. Maybe. Whoa! -ho! You don't expect them to come from that direction. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, hey, there he is. And I'm also trying to read the chat, too. So if I die, it's all your fault. Let me see. You're reading a guide online. And it says there's a pipe that connects the first and third floor. Yeah, it's beside the stairs. You can uh, climb up and down it, but it's kind of janky, too. You like the Bible Games episode? The Bible Games episode of AVGN is the first one I ever saw back in like 2006. I remember I went over to a friend's house for a sleepover, a Christmas break sleepover. And he's like, Andrew, you gotta see these videos. And he showed me the Bible Games AVGN, which was like the newest one he had released at the time. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And I, of course, like binged the other few episodes he had released at that point. And yeah, I was a devout AVGN fan for quite a while there. But yes, thank you Miles Luigi for bringing that up. If I need to use that pole, I will. Like there's the pole to the left right there, but it's it's janky. 
Hey, they're, hey, they are chasing me, unfortunately. All right, I still got three items. 14 minutes to go. That was weird. He was like gonna come into the basement and then he didn't. Again, I'm still taking these risks even like coming down here. I wish they would just give me a break like they have in the past where they're not chasing me for a few minutes. Let me save some of my traps. Oh god! <laughs> Stop! Stop chasing me! Okay, so let him go upstairs. Fine. I don't care. Just hang out here for a few minutes. Why not? Although, again, I can't see much to the right, so any second now, the guy could creep on me. But okay, so that's what I wanted. I wanted to hit the left side of the screen so I can do a thing like this. Alright. Picking up some new items. I think he's gonna be close to me. Like again, I can barely see behind me, and that doesn't help when they're like, you're constantly being chased. Ugh. Is there anything to even get downstairs anymore? Yes, there's like one more thing here. It looks like. Oh god. Okay, I have no items. I'm out of items. <laughs> oh god. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh <laughs> That's not fair! That's not fair! Oh. <laughs> they both just like teleported to my location. Oh my goodness. Yeah, AVGN's always had his own website, Cinemassacre. It's 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 weird. I, I used to watch some Let's Players on like Google Video too. <laughs> oh, the internet's changed a lot, unfortunately, and it's not not often for the better. Everything's so consolidated now. I used to go to different websites for different things, and there was just like five different websites we use for everything. Not as fun as it used to be. Yeah, Action 52 is a funny one. They got, like, those those guys to just program a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so in this one, in this try, the bandits were, like, not giving me a break. I've had good runs where, like, they, they just leave you alone for a while. And it's very nice. I'm not gonna... It, it's so much easier for them to get down the stairs than me. Like, wow, the basement really goes far. I thought I was moonwalking there for some reason.
So I'm looking over at the stream. Yeah, this game has just like a, a, a big white bar down the left side of the screen. <laughs> That's not like me not aligning the, uh, the video properly or something like that. That is just the whole time you're playing Home Alone, there's this massive white bar down the left side of the screen. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah. yeah, there's something janky about this treehouse. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. So, oh, the treehouse is weird. All right, if he's up there, sure. And they just like teleport down. It's really frustrating. But okay, and they're after me. How do the items work? So the items are just strewn randomly around the house. Uh, they barely look distinguishable from other things. They're just like random objects inside a square. And you pick them up with the A button. You drop them with the B button. And when the robbers uh, run over top of them, they melt for a little bit. And then you can pick up that item again later on. Although it seems like after a few uses, they disappear, so you gotta be careful. But alright, oh! The problem is, it's like... You can't really tell between the items that you've dropped and will hurt the robbers and the ones that you can just, like, pick up. And yeah, this is all you do, and the point of the game is to run out the clock there, which has 16 minutes and 12 seconds left on it. Starts at 20 minutes. Alright, I'm gonna try going down this guy. Is this a good idea? Probably not. I don't know if you can go up it as well or just down it. Oh, you can go up it too. Interesting. Although, I kind of get jammed on the door here, which is wonderful. So you gotta do, gotta do a thing like that. Also, I'm picking up something there. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stupid stairs! I'm assuming someone's gonna come from some direction any second now. And yeah, like, it can't even center Kevin on the screen. So any second, someone could just pop out from the left side right now, and I would have no time to react to that. I like how you can still hear them get hurt, like, off screen. It's, like, it's what you just gotta do. There's, there's nothing else you can do. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! And, like, there's no consistency to how fast they move. I don't think it's a matter of, like, the longer you play, the faster uh, faster they are or something. It's just... They just decide that they're going to start moving faster without any warning. I don't even know what half these items I'm dropping are supposed to be. And there he goes. He goes up those, uh, up the thing there. But yeah, when they're faster than you, it's not really fair, but it's the way the game goes. I'm used to it not being very fair. What's that? 13 minutes, all right. 
I'm like a third of the way there. And then you get some really nice times when like they're not chasing you and you can just hang out and let those seconds tick away. <laughs> Now, I always say, don't rush through life. Don't always be looking forward to the next thing. Always appreciate, you know, what's already out there. And don't just be like, oh, man. You know, look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. And, you know, not enjoy the present moment. But <laughs> if this 13 minutes could go by really fast, I'd appreciate it. Uh, so the picture doesn't matter. I think that the picture on the item does determine how long the robber will uh, I, I call them the, the robbers uh, the enemies, the wet bandits I mean they are robbers I guess technically uh, it determines how long they'll be out of commission for but it's only a matter of like a second or two so doesn't usually matter and in that case the item actually disappeared Because you can only use them a certain number of times, which is really annoying. Oh god, look at all these. And also sometimes it's kind of jank and they don't uh, interact with the, with the trap that you've dropped. So, so they catch you, yay! Okay, I guess that guy went back downstairs. You can too. Stay away from me. See how slow he was moving now? Like, there's no consistency. Alright, so another case where we can just hang out here for a bit. 11.50! Alright. Almost halfway there. I want to read the chat without pausing because I want the clock to just keep running, but that's also very scary. Yeah, I think we all used to doodle a whole bunch of weird stuff in elementary school. At least the wet bandits look like in the movie. If this game has one thing going for it, the characters look a little bit like what they're supposed to look like. Uh, I guess we'll celebrate that. Why not? Oh, God. What? How come I'm moving so fast there? Okay, I won't question it. Alright, uh, I don't have any items on me right now. Now I do. No, st uh, the stairs are really scary right there. Because of the way that the enemies can kind of just beam in. But okay, I'm back up to three items again. <sighs> Should be about 10 minutes now. 10.50. Who's ready for us to get down to like 30 seconds and then <laughs> they just like phase through the wall or something? Phase through the floor and destroy us all. Sounds about right. I don't think I need to go through the basement this time, so I'm going to skip it. Save some time. I'm watching behind me very closely in case someone runs up at like supersonic speed. I have three items already. Very good. Lots of items at the front door if I need them. Keep that in mind. It said something about being able to drop these chandeliers, I think. Although, I can't figure it out. Alright. 9.26 to go. Halfway there. Gotta keep it up for another nine minutes, everybody. And we can move on to Home Alone 2. 
Hooray! <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, that pipe! Uh, I kind of have a system here where I've been just doing like this clockwise motion. The pipe is kind of janky. Not that everything isn't janky. But I will keep that in mind. Oh, it's down plus A. Okay. So you're going to trip on that. And I'll sneak behind you. In the meantime... And I think I said there's lots of items at the front door if I need them. So I will do that. Whoa, whoa, okay, no. So there's that I can do. You can just run right by me, why not? Is he gonna go up the pipe? Oh, he is too. So there's that pipe everyone uh, wants to tell me about. Uh, it's crazy. Okay, so down A. Can I pick these up later? Because I will appreciate that. Oh, I have no items! I have no items! No! <sighs> I think that's a record by like four seconds. I think our previous record was eight minutes and ten seconds remaining. That means that this that does that mean that if I beat this game, I have the world record speed run <laughs> because it, it has to take twenty seconds. I guess if you pause, it screws that up, right? But if you don't pause, technically your speed run should be world record pace, right? That's uh, that, that's kind of a funny thing to think about. There must be a lot of people who have the world record speed run for this game. So I'm not gonna pause. I'm not. And actually, I say that I'm gonna start the timer on my own uh, phone here. Because I'm so sick of having to pause every time I check. <laughs> you get tied with world record. <laughs> Alright, sounds good to me. Three, two, one, go! This music reminds me of a track from the Guardian Legend, which is a really random thing to bring up, but it does. And I don't know what causes you to moonwalk, but he's doing it anyway. Like, no one's coming to get me where I am currently, so I'm kinda happy about that, so maybe I'll just hide in this bottom corner of the basement for a while I have three items stop moonwalking if you run so if you run into the wall then immediately switch directions he moonwalks interesting Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I set my timer for 20 hours! <laughs> and not 20 minutes! I'm not playing this game for 20 hours! I was like, it's weird, why does it still say 19? Oh... So if it hits 19 uh, hours and 40 minutes remaining, it means we've beat the game. <laughs> That's what we're going for now. I wish I could just see from all angles here. Alright, so here's me trying to climb the pole. Kinda worked. Could have been worse. Alright, 19 hours and 58 minutes remaining. Let's do it. <laughs> I really hope that the in-game clock runs properly. And it's not like actually half an hour, but it says 20 minutes or something. Oh god, I have no items.
No! Oh, 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 oh. oh, this feels awful. So, can I pick up these chandeliers later and just use them as normal items? Otherwise, there's no reason to not drop them. If that's true. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> so can I just pick these up? Yes! So that's just extra items for you to use then. Because when you hear you can drop a chandelier on their heads, you think, okay, it has to be like a- Whoa, 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 whoa! He walked right by my trap, I sit on those stairs. Yeah, just like drop all these so you can use them later. Seems like an obvious enough move to make. I have no items. Why am I so low on items? I need to take a trip to the basement. Lots of good items down there. All right, the clock says 19 hours, uh, 56 minutes, and 30 seconds left. Who just stepped on a trap? Okay, so just like the treehouse, maybe I could just, you know, hang out here for a little bit. Until I'm required to move. Sounds like a good idea. 19 hours and 56 minutes to go. <laughs> when I go back and put timestamps, instead of putting winning run, I should put speed run. There you go. I just have to remember, don't pause. Don't pause. Shoot, he's going to come up the stairs and kill me, isn't he? Okay, he didn't. Surprisingly. The chandelier drops them for a long time. Like, yeah, that's all, like, items there I can pick up now if I need them, which is great. I will never complain about having more traps to throw at these guys. Alright, looks like under five minutes. I really hope that the, the time is right. And the in-game clock isn't borked. Which, you know, back then, programming a proper clock that runs on proper time was probably easier said than done. Like, if you look at Mario, you get 400 to beat a level. Not 400 seconds, just 400 whatever they are supposed to be. So... Yeah, it's not often that Nintendo games have, like, a legit, you get five minutes, and it's actually five minutes. Oh, the stairs. They feel so bad. And back to the Guardian Legend music, my favorite. Please hit the thing, thank you. Oh, so the chandelier already disappeared. Maybe you can only use it once. Which I mean, better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to take a trip through the kitchen this time. Why not? There's typically lots of items in there I haven't grabbed before. I think, anyway. Oh, maybe I did take a trip through here already. I'm getting all my playthroughs mixed up now. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm only holding on to one item. It's pretty scary. Now there have been like playthroughs before. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> you can't place anything when you're on the rope. But I think I have lots of items down here still. So I'm gonna come down here and grab- Actually, there's not that many. Thought there was more. Oh. Thought I had two items. I guess I already had three. Nineteen hours, fifty-one minutes, and thirty seconds to go. All right. Hopefully, this is just, you know one of those moments where we can just relax for a second. Wait, 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 wait! Ah! But okay, the time at least seems accurate. <sighs> that was frustrating. I put down an item and I wanted to pick up the other one, but I think I somehow picked up the item I had just put down, which I didn't think is something you could do. Ah, all right, we'll try again. Michael Jackson, your way through the game. Well, thank you everyone for watching. This is this has been a lot of fun. I hope we can beat this one and at least play a little bit of the second one. No, I'm happy that you're enjoying the smaller chat. Again, sorry, I can't uh like your name. Oh, Oh, from what from what your name looks like, the one with the kind of uh, characters that aren't showing up, it looks like you say you're learning Japanese. Is that what I'm reading there? Again, you've done something weird to your name <laughs> that makes it not show up properly, but I hope you're enjoying the stream. 20 minutes is pretty brutal, but when you think about how that's all the game consists of, it's pretty funny. Uh, I have beat Die Hard on the NES. It's not that hard. But all right, this is it, the final run. Wake up your dog, wake up your cat, wake up your neighbors, they're gonna wanna see this. In three, two, one, go. Now I actually have my clock counting down properly <laughs> for 20 minutes and not 20 hours. The key is just to be able to get into situations like this one here, where you wait and don't do much for a while. Uh, and part of that has to do with the enemy's AI, just like what it decides to do. Uh, and some of my runs have had many more situations where I'm able to just kind of like loaf around and do nothing. And then some of them, I'm on the run constantly. It's just, there's no consistency. So you press down A to drop the chandeliers, and those are good to grab later. Alright, 18 minutes. I really like having my clock next to me. It feels so much better knowing how much time has already passed and how much you have left. 
I just can't believe they did not think to program that onto the main screen. <laughs> What, what, what? No, no, don't get stuck on the stairs! Bah, humbug. We're almost there, man. We're, we're so close. A mix of Chinese-Egyptian hieroglyphs. Wow. Glyphics. The speedrunners literally just get the bandit stuck in wait. That's the goal, man. That's the goal. All right, here we go. Is there any particularly like repeatable way to get them stuck, I wonder? I'm curious if the run you're watching is tool assisted or if it's like someone doing it legit. Yeah, you can't pick up an item that you have just used to destroy a guy. Unfortunately. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be another one of those runs where they just don't give you a break. Which is not good, because the more that you have to use your traps, the faster they're going to wear out. Oh. Uh, Christian, yes! Yeah, sorry, I said it before you got here. I do uh, plan to play Mario Kart 8 tomorrow. It won't be so late. It'll probably be like an 8 p.m. thing. Uh, so yeah, everyone, hope you can join in that as we check out the new DLC tracks, which uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of them I'm going to be familiar with. I have never played Mario Kart Tour. I'm not really a mobile guy, so... I think there's a, a handful of them from that, which will be interesting to check out. All right, so they're up there right now, and they can stay up there. Don't come down here.
Oh! <laughs> and they just come out of nowhere, and that's it. I'm out of items. I'm dead. I'm so dead. There used to be lots of items around here. They're like this guy. And this guy. Oh my goodness. So, I hope you're all having absolutely wonderful nights. One more day before the weekend. And again, tomorrow night, I'm going to be streaming some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, if you want to join in, uh, that'll be awesome. I don't know how it works, like, because we're going to be doing some of the DLC tracks. H how does it work when people try to join in online play? If they don't have the DLC as everyone else has, <laughs> you just have to play like a different map or something. I, I have no idea. But uh, if you have the expansion pass, the Switch Online expansion pass, the very controversial expansion pass, uh, I believe you get the DLC tracks for free, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we're going to be checking that out. Oh, I never dropped the chandeliers, so I should probably do that. 17 minutes to go. So it's good to see that the clock, in-game clock, matches reality pretty accurately, it looks like. Which is good to know. Okay, sure, I'll take that. I don't think that was fair, but whatever. I don't have any items. Oh, no! That's a really scary moment when you don't have anything to defend yourself with. Hey! He went right through my item again. That guy really got knocked out for a while. If it's like a glitch and he's permanently knocked out, I won't complain. Alright, looks like about 15 minutes left to go. The Jade Wizard, is that the instructions on how to get the guys caught? I will read that <laughs> in a second. I'm scared to pause because I don't want to, or, yeah, you know, scared to pause because it will screw up my speed run. And I'm scared to look away because they're probably going to get me when I'm not looking. But if I don't move, maybe they'll never show up. 15 minutes to go exactly. One quarter down. A lot of uh, older games were exclusively in Hiragana and Katakana. And yes, in a sense, that does make them easier to read without having to learn kanji. But it really makes, like, it's not fun reading sentences that are only Hiragana and Katakana. It's basically like trying to read a sentence that's all caps or that's all lowercase, except it's, a, it's way worse. Because kanji really helps like discern like what different words are and such. And if you understand Japanese sentence structure, uh, it's fine. Like even if a sentence is all hiragana, you can tell what you can understand what you're reading. But by having the kanji to to break up the sentence, uh, it's it makes uh, readability much better. But of course, for you know when you're learning, you know it's uh, it's great to just have those characters that you're already familiar with there and. None of the ones that can be scarier. But I like kanji, so so I, I always appreciate it when games have kanji. Uh, which is funny, because you play like the older Pokemon games. Like the uh, original Game Boy ones, and they're pretty much like all... 
all here are gone and such. And part of that is also because it's not just because well, younger children didn't under, couldn't understand the kanji, but it's also because representing kanji on a Game Boy screen where all the characters have to be like eight by eight pixels was not easy. But then you get to the later Pokemon games like Diamond, uh, I believe is when it started. And there's an option in, in the options menu where you can turn on kanji, switch it on and off. So that, it's, you know, you can either have all hiragana or you can have some kanji in there to make it easier to read for those who know their kanji. I'm kind of scared because I don't know where they are. I figured he would be up the stairs and chasing me by now. Something like that. But yeah, once you learn kanji, you'll wonder why you ever wanted all the text to be hiragana. But understand, until then, no, it's definitely a, a helpful way to learn. I don't like that I only have one item. That's kind of scary. Please go down the stairs, please. Wow, there's really not much to come down here and get anymore, is there? <laughs> That's funny. That was like a real, like, authentic Home Alone uh, reaction to that happening. <sighs> wow. Eleven, eleven. Okay, let's try it again. I was really hoping to get the Home Alone 2 tonight. At this rate, I have no idea what's going to happen. But we'll try. We'll certainly try. Uh, actually, the Jade Wizard. Uh, I'll reset. Let's just do this. You, uh, you posted instructions on how to get them stuck, didn't you? There are three spots where you can get them stuck forever. You go left at the start and get the cans near the front. Wow, okay, so there really are ways to get them stuck. That sounds fascinating. Just for fun. Let's see if I understand what you're saying. So you grab a... Apparently these are, these are cans, I guess. And you go down one step, like to here. And then you climb this. Now he's stuck. Whoa! He is, too! Whoa! That's hilarious! And then the other one, you grab a chandelier, and you do the same, like, like, that's, that's hilarious! That you can just do that! And I think you said you grab this now. Hmm. Interesting. So what did you say about the second guy? Okay. Interesting. Let's see. So I'll try that again, just for fun. So why does it have to be the chandelier? That's what I want to know. So you go here. So 
So you get stuck like that. And then the other one... I, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Maybe it doesn't have to be the chandelier. It's just what the speedrun does. So I, I, I have an idea. I got this. I think I've got this. So I'll just do that. And I'll come here. Oh, maybe because the chandelier knocks him out the longest. That's probably it. That's probably why. Okay. Yes, yes. You're right. Okay, just for fun. We're gonna do it that way then. That's hilarious. That is- oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah! Is he gonna kill me if I touch him? No, he didn't. But he got him unstuck. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. Can we get this to work? This is hilarious. And then you said you can't climb up the pipe. Okay. So chandelier is going to go right here. And then we're going to run up the stairs the legit way. And according to you, he should be stuck. And then we never have to play this game again. <laughs> So I'm holding you to it. If not, you get kicked from the chat. Uh, you plan on importing a Japanese 2DS or 3DS at some point. There are so many great Japanese 3DS games. <laughs> and of course it has to be region locked. What? I'll admit I wasn't expecting that. Um, actually... Yeah, I picked up a white 3DS, which was never released in North America on my first trip to Japan. Um, kind of as like a, yo, ooh, it's, it wasn't uh, something we got here, so it's neat. And, yeah. Yeah, I think that a Japanese 3DS is great, and they're only getting cheaper, which is nice. Whoa! This is kind of awkward. Okay. We're getting closer. I think we're getting closer to figuring this out. I can definitely share some stories in that regard if we can figure this out. Um, but even the original DS has a lot of great Japanese learning tools and such on it. In fact, a game I've been waiting for for so long to exist just came out today in Japan. Uh, and it's Kanken, which is a kanji test that exists in Japan. And a um, a Switch version of the training tool finally came out today after it's something I've wanted since the Switch was released because they used to release tons of them for the original DS and the 3DS but finally the Switch one came out. I almost didn't think it was going to happen for a while there. Um, so I've imported that and hopefully it shows up sometime in the near future. But yeah, uh, the original DS and 3DS had lots of cool tools for things like that. So where is this guy? <laughs> you will enforce that rule, Christian? Thank you.
So once the next guy, I guess who was supposed to be Marv, gets stuck on the chandelier, do I just, I run up the stairs, right? And that's it, I'm done. Hey, he didn't get borked by it. What, what? I did not mean to climb up the pole. I pushed up and Kevin was on a mission to climb that pole. Whoa. Wow, it's, lock it's not working now. I have to get on the pipe. Okay. Got it. Um, no. Right, come on and get me here. We got it. We got it this time. So you grab this, whatever these are. You said they were cans? I thought they were sponges or something. But I believe you. So that gets him there. And then I gotta go over here, knock the chandelier down. So I gotta get on the pipe, so I gotta run up to the top floor, and then climb down the pipe so he kinda gets jammed on it. Understood. Okay, so I should stand here and wait for him to show up. Which is funny, because any other time if I wanted him to show up, he'd be here by now. But this one's gotta make it suspenseful. I'm not taking my eyes off the screen. Let's do a jig while we wait. I'm not sure if it matters like where on the stairs I place it. I can't believe he's not coming. Because if he gets stuck somewhere else, I won't complain. Eighteen minutes to go. Yeah, I understand. So I'm gonna run up the stairs and then climb down the pipe a bit, and hopefully he gets jammed in the same spot. But where is he now? So I get him jammed somewhere else? Because I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, oh, he's in the basement for some reason. You know, honestly, even just being able to deal with only one of the, uh, you know, one bandit. That would probably make this game so much easier. So, you know, even if I beat it, like, legit this point. Whoa! Oh, I was pressing... <laughs> I stopped playing for so long, I forgot which button it was I was supposed to press. Wonderful. For some reason, I thought it was A to drop a trap, when it's actually B. And that's weird. It's got to be in, like, a specific spot. <laughs> F. Right? So, it's got, you kind of got to be in the middle of the step. And then, boom. Okay. Very good. Where's Marv? Like, it's so funny how when you glitch that first guy, it's like, come on, come on. What? Don't go the wrong way. 
Why, why didn't he get hit by that? He just won't get hit by it. No! You go up the stairs, and then Kevin's like, I'm not just going to stop at the stairs. I'm going to climb up the pole, too. <laughs> Oh, I should have just ran around to the front of the house, I guess. But it's, that has to be it. You can just taste that we're at the end now. We might never have to play this game again. All right, Marv, come on out. I see him. I see him. And... Mm. Come here. I lost my, uh... So what happened was, because I had three items and there was already one on the steps, uh... I couldn't pick up the one that was already sitting there. <laughs> my bad. Here I was trying to be well equipped and instead I just kind of messed myself up, but we haven't actually screwed up anything yet. Uh, and you know, it's all time that needs to be wasted anyway. Basically, as long as one of them gets stuck, it makes the game half as difficult. So, it wouldn't even be that difficult to just play the game legit at this point, but I'm very curious about pulling off this trick, so we're going to keep trying. And, like, pick this up, why not? Okay, so chandelier, place it here. Okay, and now I'm going to run up the stairs here. Watch, going this way, they'll probably screwed up the timing. Okay, is that it? Oh no! <laughs> it didn't work! I was lied to! No, I probably did something incorrectly there. Maybe I was supposed to climb down a little further? We can always try it again. Uh, that's the nice thing about there only being one guy chasing us, is that there's lots of extra items lying around now. Regardless, we got 17 minutes left till uh, time is up. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. Still world record places, uh, places the Jade Wizard. So what did I do wrong there? Was I supposed to climb down the uh, the ladder further? Or like, what was the, uh, the problem with that, I wonder? But knowing that only one guy is chasing me makes this so easy. Oh, I had to climb down and back. Oh, that was probably it. You're right. Because that's how the first guy works, right? So I'll go grab another chandelier and try it again.
Regardless, 15 minutes to go. <laughs> when there's only one guy chasing you. Wow, this is like the world's easiest game. It's funny how two makes it so difficult. But one is like, ah, no big deal. So he's still melted. No? No, it happened again. This guy just doesn't give up. And that's my last item, so I really hope I can pick up another one soon. There we go. <laughs> was play testing a concept back in the 80s and 90s? It was, but obviously, this is definitely a game where it's like, all right, Home Alone was just in theaters. We got to get this game out now and make a quick buck. And that's exactly what they did. Whoa, don't go down. So the Jade Wizard, what's your opinion of the fact that it still didn't seem to want to work? Well, I think I'm out of uh, chandeliers now, <laughs> so we gotta do what we gotta do. 12 minutes to go, but with one guy, I think we can do it. We can avoid one guy for 12 more minutes. So yes, what are all of your favorite Christmas movies? I think I listed some of mine, like Jingle All the Way, The Home Alones, of course. Does anyone does anyone watch any of the Rankin Bass stuff every year? Like you gotta watch, uh, you know, um, Rudolph, Frosty, and Leprechaun's Christmas Gold. You cannot forget about the Leprechaun's Christmas Gold, an absolute Christmas classic. Oh, you, you just waited for him to get up. Interesting. With just Marv, I've got this. Thank you, Miles Luigi. 11 minutes and 45 seconds, it says. Yeah, uh, it's, it's amazing what it's like when it's just one guy. But okay, there we go. Yeah, knowing that, like, one of the guys isn't just going to pop out of nowhere really makes a difference. And yes, you use half the traps because there's only trapping one guy, so... Really changes everything. I am kind of spooked because I haven't seen him in a while. I'm expecting him to show up in front of me any second now. Nope. All right, then. Ten minutes to go. <laughs> Marv, help. I'm stuck. The kid trapped me. 
There was this movie about miners being stuck in a coal mine. Interesting. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. An absolute Christmas classic, yes. The real problem with Grandma got run over by a reindeer is that the ki the family's last name is Spankenheimer, and it's like who names who names characters that? What person comes up with the name Spankenheimer? That's what I want to know. That's the weirdest part of Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Surprisingly. But otherwise, good answer in terms of a movie that's fun to watch every Christmas. For whatever reason, AMC, I, I don't know if it's the same in the US, uh, AMC is a weird channel. I mean, sometimes I feel like the programming we get is the same as what's in the United States, and sometimes we get like the bootleg Canadian version of AMC. Uh, but this month they've been showing like a lot of Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's like, Ghostbusters, Christmas, I guess Ghostbusters 2 takes place around New Year's. I forget what uh, time of the year Ghostbusters 1 took place. Maybe it was also around Christmas, so maybe that's why they're showing Ghostbusters. Of course, it's funny because I just beat the NES game about a month or so ago. Pyre, haven't seen Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer in a while. Well, Marv seems to be taking a, a smoke break or something. Uh, I'm just kind of chilling in the treehouse. Every 90s kid had a treehouse. I don't think they build them anymore. It's probably a liability thing now. Not allowed to have any fun anymore. It is kind of creepy how long it's been since we've seen him. though. <laughs> I wonder if he ended up getting stuck. All of the other reindeer. Oh, that's a classic cartoon. Very good. <laughs> I'm trying to get you down from there. Forget the kid. Oh, Daniel Stern. You crack us up. Don't like that pun, the Jade Wizard? All right, seven minutes and 30 seconds. You just know he's gonna like jump out, jump to the window <laughs> at like 30 seconds left and ruin our whole day. But if we beat this on this try, whoa, we definitely still have time to try Home Alone 2, which could be a lot of fun. So we'll see. Less than seven minutes to go. <laughs> Harry's still stuck. Oh, I love it. You love to see it. Do I actually have three items? I didn't even think I had picked up that many. I was trying to pick up the cars, but didn't want to be picked up. Oh, the song? Oh. Yeah, when I hear all of the other reindeer, like O-L-I-V-E, I think about the one with the dog. <laughs> oh, classic Christmas animation. Gremlins takes place at Christmas. There you go. I just beat Gremlins 2 on the NES. Uh, very short game. Bandai is such a weird company. 
They did so many weird licensed games like Gremlins, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Dick Tracy, Frankenstein. Bandai is very weird back then. Now they do like all the JRPG stuff, but they did not know what to, what to do back then. Five minutes to go. All right. Of course, I think it's Na uh, Namco, ba Namco Bandai now. Namco Bandai. And, you know, they have Pac-Man and all that. Did anyone play the Pac-Man 3D World remake? That looks pretty good. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I do have it and do hope to play it. Yeah, the Pac-Man World games, back when every single series used to have a 3D collect-a-thon. I think there's another Spongebob game coming out that's supposed to be like Battle for Bikini Bottom. Whoever expected that to get a remake? I remember there was a, a glitch that was uh, there on launch. You could beat the game in like five minutes. Yeah, there were a lot of parents mad back in the day. They took their kids to see gremlins thinking it would be cute. Uh, and it wasn't so cute. You played Pac-Man World 2 before. Yeah, the first one was on PlayStation. Uh, and then the 2 and 3 were on, like, GameCube, PS2, maybe Xbox? Alright, under 4 minutes to go! I don't know if, like, when time runs out you have to go to the tree or anything like that, or if the game just ends. I guess we'll find out. Three minutes, 33 seconds. Don't you love when the time lines up like that? But it could never say seven minutes and 77 seconds. So you'll never be lucky. On the flip side, it can't say 666 either. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> You're never going to have a satanic day. I'd be creepy waking up, looking over at the clock, and it's saying, 666. Wow, this Home Alone Let's Play is really taking a turn. The Spongebob movie game was also really good. It played just like the uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, pretty much. Alright, two and a half minutes to go. And I'll be, the, I'll be the tied for world record holder. There you go. Someone's going to have to upload this incredible video to wherever people upload videos. I don't even know. I, I'm not in the speedrunning community, so I don't know how it works. How you get like authenticized, authenticized, authenticated, whatever they call it. Two minutes. There's a ROM hacking community for both games? Oh, I thought you meant um, for both Home Alone games. Has anybody... I wonder if there are any ROM hacks to this game. What would people ROM hack? Home Alone, good edition. Definitely a possibility. 1 minute 40 seconds. 100 seconds, everybody! Until I'm a world record tie holder. Although I'm kind of scared. I'm really scared something's going to happen. So, thoughts. Home Alone, NES. What would you rate it out of 10? Clearly this is like a 15 out of 10. Under a minute, everybody. Oh, 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 no, not now. Not now. I'm not taking the basement this time. Forget that. 44 seconds. Two 
25 seconds. Watch, now, uh, Harry will wake up and kill us all. I could imagine it. I could imagine it. 14! I'm just gonna put items on both sides of me so I'm completely pro <gasps> And he came from the other side too. Could you imagine if I wasn't paying it? Yeah! Yeah, look at that! Look at that! He looks like Dumb and Dumber in the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. <sighs> that was a game, I guess, if you can call that a game. <laughs> what a clear screen, exactly, right? And he really does look like Dumb and Dumb. <laughs> I don't think he was that <laughs> It looks so bad. It looks so bad. But I am now the world record tie holder, everybody. Bow down to me as your new speedrunning lord and master. Oh. We'll just appreciate this for another minute and then we'll never speak of it again. <laughs> Jim Carrey, right? Exactly. <laughs> this is just a masterpiece. An absolute <laughs> NES masterpiece. Yeah, I haven't pressed any buttons yet, so let's see. Oh, no! I pressed too many buttons and it skipped over that screen, but because it's a stream, you can go back and pause it if you really desire to see, I guess, where I dropped all of the traps. But, uh, yeah, there's a credits there when you stay on the title screen for a while. It tells you all the incredible people you can send emails to and thank them for making this game. Paul Coletta and Randy Linden. You did a bang-up job. Someone did hack this game? What did they do? <laughs> anyway, though, I'm going to take a break for just a minute, and we'll come back and we'll try Home Alone 2. No guarantees. I guess we're going to beat it tonight. Uh, but I know it's definitely at least a little bit better of a game. Uh, how easy it's going to be, probably not so much. Again, I've beat the Super Nintendo version. It was one I actually rented back in the day. You could still rent Super Nintendo games and had, a, you know, a fun enough time with it. But I know it's still a movie game and lacks in certain areas. <laughs> thank you, Miles Luigi. Thank you. But all right, I'll see you all in a minute.
All right, who's ready for more Home Alone fun? <laughs> it's been so fun to this point. Uh, yeah, the first game was uh, mind-numbing, like, wow. But I think this is going to feel more like a real game, so I can appreciate that. Oh, man, listen to those... Uh, <laughs> sound effects. The first game I ever played that had those sound effects was Bart vs. the Space Mutants, so I always associate them with with that game, but there's a few acclaimed games and I guess THQ is related to them in some way that use these sound effects, so. So Canada is a wide country. We have like five different time zones, but where I am, it's 2.51 in the morning. So again, no guarantee we're beating this, but we'll give it a few honest shots. Thanks everyone who's been sticking around watching the stream though, hope you're having a great night. And tomorrow night around 8pm we'll be doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so if you're uh, available make sure you uh, stop by that stream too, and thank you so much. Macaulay Culkin, yeah they should bring him back, like, everything else gets a reboot. They, I know they tried making that new Home Alone movie. But yeah, I don't think he was in it. They did make a commercial with him, though. But there you go, everyone. Just stop what you're doing. It's Tim Curry. And when Tim Curry is on screen, everyone shuts up and watches what he's doing. <laughs> I'm alerting the other hotels. A pizza. Stolen credit card. So, the game really starts like halfway through the movie. Because there's a lot that happens before the uh, concierge finds out that Kevin's been using a stolen credit card. And wow, there's Marv and Harry from the first game. Ugh. Like, there was no Lefty Louie in the movie. This isn't accurate at all. Like, what old gang? It's never said that, like, uh, the Wet Bandits is more than two people. 
I mean, I guess maybe they were in a gang before that. Wow, this cutscene goes on. Well, okay, so yeah, it starts you in a situation where you can easily get immediately killed by the guy behind you. Okay, so I've only really played the Super Nintendo version, but I understand a bit about how this works. You get different items, although I've picked up a whole bunch of stuff. But I guess none of it was items I can throw. Okay, so I got eight balls now. Is that... Like, what, what is that I'm even picking up? The triangles? I know if you collect uh, a certain amount of pizza, you normally get a 1-up. And you can do the slide in this game to kill stuff, but not the vacuum. The vacuum still kills you. I don't know if you can uh, give Granny the old heave-ho. And you can go in here and look at this guy. There's a gun behind the counter we're going to steal. There you go. Now we're packing the power. And I guess we have a lot of health. That's like three hearts we still have up there. It said something about cookies. Are those triangle things supposed to be cookies? Can I... Nope, you can't uh, do it with real people, I guess. Oh yeah, and in the Super Nintendo one, there was always this weird couch. I never understood how it worked, but if you press the button at like the right time, you could bounce really high. And there's a guy who throws keys at you, but this is like the only game you'll ever play where keys are bad. Don't want to touch those or you take damage. But yeah, we can need this thing. There you go, that's what we want. But we can uh, give Granny the old 50 caliber here, there you go. Oh god, okay, so... You go in that room and he comes to strangle you, wonderful. You know, every hotel has a florist in it. When I was in New York last, I went into the Plaza Hotel, but there was like a big wall and like they wouldn't let you buy it unless you had a reservation, so fortunately I didn't get to see much. No one told me that my, uh, that you know, the desk was down the hall and to the left. So yeah, you get to this point and then you just kind of, you do this. And I'm not sure if the elevator ever comes or not. This is like the weirdest part of the game and they put it right at the first level. So I've pushed the button, like, 40 times, and the it, it does come. There you go. And I've never understood this. Now you just kind of run back and forth on a bunch of floors. Like, in the Super Nintendo version, you run all the way to the right, and then you run back to the left for some reason. And I'm not sure what that accomplishes, but you gotta do it. Also, you should be jumping everywhere, because there's... This game likes to have invisible items. So typically there's like a maid in here. And I think I just destroyed her. So there you go. And that gives us a chance to jump around the room and try and loot the place. Just like in the movie. Oh no, she jumped over my thing. Now she's throwing like a brick at me. So what do I keep picking up? Those... Like, I guess those are the cookies maybe the, the book was talking about. They come in fours? Like, why can't they just give me health? <laughs> so yeah, I ran all the way to the end of the hall. And now I think you're supposed to... You just have to know to run back. I think there's an arrow in the Super Nintendo one that tells you to do this. But on the NES, you just gotta know. Watch out for Grandma got run over by a reindeer, though. But okay. So yeah. Just run to the end of the hall and run back for some reason. <laughs> so, sorry, what's the comments here? Yeah, the jump, uh, Miles Luigi. It's, it's in so many games, and the Simpsons games are definitely the ones where I, uh, I associate it with most. Bloody blades. The pillows really do look like that. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, Jared, shopping around New York during Christmas time and then staying at the Plaza Hotel, that would be so cool. I've only visited New York in the summer, but it, it seems like it'd be a cool place to see around Christmas. Like, I don't think I can... Oh, no! I thought he was going to keep coming. But yeah, you can't knee this guy. So I have darts, but like not the dart gun? Is that what that means? Like, what do I do about this guy then? Can you knee him from the back, maybe? No, you just, you, <laughs> he just stands in your way and there's nothing you can do about it. And, again, like... I don't really have any weapons anymore, so I can't do anything about any of this. And again, like... I always had this problem in the Super Nintendo version too. Actually, maybe maybe you're supposed to stand on like a plant and jump over him? Okay, I suppose that's what you're supposed to do. And again, without any weapons, you can't really do much in there. But I guess I'm once again supposed to go back to the left, so we'll do that. As soon as this guy lets me jump over him. Oh, I was sure that was gonna clip and I was gonna take damage. Only one heart left. And there I go. Where will that start me? Try to do that floor all over again? Oh, that sucks. And, oh, I didn't duck. But yeah, this is... <laughs> this is a game. It's Home Alone 2. It's absolutely amazing. Like, this is... It should have won uh, Game of the Year. The Game of the Year awards. They should have gone back and said, Whoa! It was such a disservice to not name this Game of the Year, like, 1992. That we're gonna make up for it and make it the Game of the Year 2022. And uh, everyone would have applauded, I'm sure. Like, there's a gun. You know, I want a gun. And whatever that is, I'll take it too. I got a bell. So, yeah. Oh, it gives me a supersonic jump. Okay. I'll take it. But yeah, gun is nice. <laughs> Take everyone out. There we go. Granny no more. <laughs> Granny be gone. Oh no! I was looking over at the chat! It's all your fault I died. No, uh, you wanna... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of beautiful places to visit in Japan. And you know, To anyone who wants to visit there, I hope you have the chance. It's such a nice place. Just, uh, you know, things have been really crappy lately. Which, uh, is not great. So I probably would have gone back again by now. And at the very least, you know, if not for work, at the very least to travel. But these things are still kind of, uh, broken out there, huh? And that's why we gotta relive the, <laughs> the pre-Dark Age times. Uh, when you could go to the Plaza Hotel and, and, you know, do the slide underneath all the old grannies. That's what vacation used to be all about. Like, what is that? Darts, I guess? So, so far, what do you think? Which game is better? This one or Home Alone 1? Like, this game at least feels like a real game. So you gotta give it that. Home Alone, like, the first one is just painful. <laughs> Foxes make such cute noises. <laughs> I mean, you can't stand around for more than two seconds or the guy's gonna come get you. And again, like... I guess I could take it... Well, let's see, if I destroy you with the gun... I can jump up there and get that. Okay, so that makes sense. It's a trade-off to use one dart to get more darts. And this is kind of like our first initial test run. I'm sure future ones will be better. Oh, I think I got an extra life from that. So I guess that is pizza. There's triangles or pizza. <laughs> Even though they don't look like it. You figure... I get it's an older game, but they should have been able to draw a proper piece of pizza.
And I don't think that these, uh, this game has a continue option, so if you get game over, it's back to start. Yeah, I think this is the last floor. When we get to the end of this floor, we don't have to come back to the left again. We can just go like straight down to the basement. If it's like the Super Nintendo game, and if I'm remembering correctly. So there's a bottle. I think bottles are good. So we're gonna grab that, and there you go, invincibility. We can run super fast now, supersonic speed. No, I'm not even gonna worry about all this stuff. And even the vacuum is no issue, I like it. There you go, service elevator. Here we go. No floor 13, isn't that funny? What do you think about floor 13s in buildings? Would you stay on floor 13? I mentioned before, I'm not really superstitious, so it doesn't bother me. So... I know there comes a point where you can't normally hurt these guys, but... Like, I forget how it works. Like, are you supposed to run by when they're keeled over? Is this, like, one case where you can do that? No, like... Like, what rules do they follow? And this respawns, so it makes you think, well, maybe I'm just supposed to, like, hit him in the... In the, you know, spot where it doesn't hurt, uh... You know, where it doesn't feel so good like that? Alright, there we go. But we're not done yet. We gotta go through the dishwasher here. And there's no consistency with, like, what you can... You know, knee and what you can't. No, you can't even touch that. Alright, I think we're at the boss. And this is like one case where normally touching a person results in damage, even if you're sliding into them. But in this case, you just have to somehow realize that, no, this guy you do have to slide into. Press start to continue. So I'm curious if it's like a... Well, I don't like that. Because if you do get continues, I would like to continue with a later level and not waste it at the beginning of the game. Unless you do get infinite continues, in which case, <laughs> I won't complain about that because I don't... Uh, now, this isn't the game where I feel like I need to do, like, the perfect run. But at the very least, it says... That's, like, three continues now. Yeah, right? It's definitely a superstitious thing. Now I'm afraid. Because what if I keep going, and I've wasted, like, the five continues it gives you? So I'm probably gonna get up and press reset. Maybe that's my superstitious. Like, I don't want to continue. Take me back to the title screen. I'm gonna get up and reset. Because I don't think the Super Nintendo one gives you continues. And it might not actually even mean that you get continues. It might just literally mean like, press start to continue back to the title screen. So, <laughs> there's always that possibility too, but that was our test run. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And now for the real attempt. Here we go. So that's pizza. And getting six of those means you got a life, I think. So you want that. I don't get the whole cookie system. The book tried to explain it. So, I won't question it. I think this one had the gun in it, so we want the gun. But the next door, I believe, had the, the bad guy in it, so we're not going to enter that one. Oh, bounced over that guy. Reception desk, get out of here. Got some darts. Knee that. Old granny time. Like, it's none of your business. If the hotel staff's after me, that's one thing, but the grannies don't have to get involved. Mind your own business. Oh, 
it takes you all the way back to the beginning of the hall because last time none of the suitcases coming out of the door were flying at me like that so suddenly inconsistent with what we experienced before that's wonderful hey i'll take that thank you i didn't uh, find that before so i appreciate coming back to grab that and it's interesting because like all the items are back too even though I died, so if I can just keep grabbing pizza and keep getting one-ups, I won't complain. Oh, I didn't mean to use that gun. I meant to use the dart gun. Oh, pfft. fell off the couch at the worst time. Whoa! Can't even take a second to rub your eye. The <laughs> guy jumps out of the store and starts chasing you. Like, how do you prepare for that? Like, yeah, it's so strange because last time none of the suitcases were flying like that. And this time, like, they all were. But alright, I pressed the button. Now we wait. Ugh! Things keep getting points like this, I wonder? It's it's also so weird, like, you have to pause to see your points. Again, with Home Alone, they couldn't just put it important information on the screen at all times. You gotta make you press extra buttons to see it. And it's weird, because I'm not getting any points by doing this anyway. Okay, is the elevator ever gonna show up? I always figured that maybe pressing it too many times it would like reset the timer, but maybe you literally do have to press it a lot of times. So remember, if you're ever waiting for an elevator, mash the button as fast as you can, and that will help it show up faster. Oh my goodness. I don't, were those there when I went in? I'm not sure. Ah. And that starts you back at the beginning of the floor. But all the items come back, and I can appreciate that. Yeah, the mops were there. The bloody mops. One thing I have to give this game credit for is that they give you a lot of hits. Uh, this feels like the kind of game where it'd be like one hit and you're dead. But five hearts is pretty generous. But man, you just can't jump over anything. You have to stand on the furniture or you get no height. so sure it was going to get me. And they don't stay stunned for very long, so I find I have to use like three bullets just to, just to get by things. But it's okay. I like how Kevin breathes fast in his idle animation. Interesting. I've never took too close of a look at it, but that is fascinating if they did that. Oh, Man, I just got kicked to the face by a granny. That is one strong granny. Do you want to save some bullets, though? 
So I got a heart back for some reason. Not entirely sure why. Hey, I'll take all of that. I got a candy cane apparently, and I'm flashing now. So yay, I'm invincible. <laughs> I'll take it. Except there's no indication to how long it lasts, so I'm sure it will run out at the absolute worst time. It's still lasting. Oh, it ran out. <laughs> you always thought Kevin was wearing a helmet in this game? Well, he did look like Dumb and Dumber at the end of the, of the last game, so... Anything is possible. Whoa, I phased right through that guy. Oh, I ran out of bullets and I didn't even notice. Well, that's not good. There you go. I traded a bullet for some pizza. And that pizza was actually the last piece I needed to get a 1-up. So, it takes six slices of pizza to create a full pizza and get an extra life. What is your opinion? Is six slices a full pizza? Isn't it normally eight? Maybe back in the 90s, you got more value for your buck. Because yeah, anything, anytime I think I've bought a pizza, it's like eight pieces. Well, I thought maybe I had invincibility because of the supersonic jumping, but I guess not. And this still isn't the last floor. I think I have to go up to 16 and then we're done. He is, like, considering he's supposed to be trying to get out of the building, he sure runs around the halls a lot for no reason. Kevin murdered a woman to get some pizza. He just loves his cheese pizza, man. What do you think? Cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza? Personally, I'm like, just order pepperoni and take the pepperonis off if you don't want them, but... Uh, if anyone wants to explain to me the rationale behind buying a pizza with just cheese on it... And I mean, I understand there's like dietary reasons now. But other than that... There's no excuse to not just buy pepperoni. No, so this isn't even the last floor. We still gotta go back and... and then I think it takes us up to 16. So, the Pizza Hut near my house recently closed down. It used to be one of the ones that was eaten. Um, but of course, ever since the Dark Days started. Uh, they closed their dining room. And then eventually reopened for takeout. But now the whole building is shut down and it's moved into like a, a mini mall where it's a Pizza Hut Express. It's so sad to see all the Pizza Huts disappearing. Man, Pizza Hut Buffet used to be like my favorite thing. And he just did not slide. He just ran out of steam. Wow, she, she jumps like really well. I was hoping maybe there was like an extra life or something in one of the rooms, but it didn't seem to be the case. Yeah! I, I love pizza of any kind. I'm not picky when it comes to the toppings on top of my pizza. I, I you know, Typically, if I go to a place and I want pizza, I'll just buy like whatever the pizza of the day is. Keep it simple. Because I can eat it. Wow, because of that spinning thing that he was doing, he was shooting backwards. Like, what benefit is that if you- Oh, well, no! What a waste of a life! Here I thought I was just getting away from some dishes and he gets sucked into the, to the dishwasher. Ugh. I was really hoping that I could take a couple of lives into the boss. I was doing really well, too. This part's so jank. It doesn't feel good at all. And I'm, I was duck. I was going to duck before I got to the 
knife, but decided to hurt me early. Okay, so this guy... I don't, like... Wh what comes out of him? And then you get jammed inside him, which is wonderful. Okay, let's jump to the middle. Let's just take our time. And... Ugh. We got it this time. We got it. <laughs> I don't understand. We, we did so much better the second time. And yet, it feels like we didn't actually do anything differently. Ugh. What a masterpiece of a game. But alright, at least we know where the dark gun is now. That's the most important thing. Granny, get lost. I just want to know, if you get game over, and you continue at a later level, will it start you at the beginning of that level? Or do you have to restart the game? Because if it just starts at the beginning of that level, and it looks like you get a lot of continues, if not infinite continues, um, I will be willing to push this game farther and to try and beat it tonight. But if it's like one of those deals where every time you get game over, you gotta start again, it's probably a case where it's like, alright, get some sleep and come back and take care of it. Because that's it. When you're playing in, you know, old games, retro games, you can't push it. If, it, if you know, there's a point when you need to realize... That sleep is the best, <laughs> best thing you can do for yourself. But if this is like a, you know, a game where I can force it, because it just lets you continue as much as you want, I will force it. I will not argue against that. But in order to figure that out, we actually have to make it to the second level. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, this is our last try here. I, I think we're good. I think we've learned the art of Home Alone. And we'll get it figured out this time. There we go. <laughs> in Pete, in uh, Home Alone 1, it was called Little Nero's, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure the... The joke was it's supposed to sound like Little Caesars, which I don't even think we had Little Caesars back then in Canada. Um, and it used to be a place I'd enjoy going to in more recent years when they had $5 hot and readies. And now it's like $8 hot and ready. It's like, you can take that in. <laughs> like, the point of Little Caesars is it's, you know, cheap and quick and not the best quality pizza, but... You know, like everything else these days, the price is like way up now, and it's like, I'm not going to pay a lot for Little Caesars when... The point was, it was always like cheaper, not so great pizza. Wasn't there like one more thing? Yes, the candy cane. I will take invincibility, thank you. What are your favorite pizza restaurants? Personally, Pizza Hut's probably my favorite. And they used to have a deal where it was like, buy one full price pizza, and then get like five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. I'd always buy it when it was on that, but otherwise, to buy full price pizza, it's pretty expensive. I feel like it's the kind of place where like, you have to do the deal, <laughs> or else it's ridiculous. But they always have some kind of deal going on, so it's just expected that you'll do it. Well, the same granny has found out how to clone herself. No, sleep is very important for sure. It's not that late yet, though. But this is definitely one of those situations where if there's infinite continues, I think we can get this done tonight. But if there's not, then it's definitely, it's like, uh, you know, I need a... A fresh brain <laughs> to, to pull off a really good playthrough of this one. There, yeah, we actually have four lives. I don't think we've, ever, we've uh, ever seen that before. But to everyone who's checking out the stream on this Thursday night, thank you so much. Hope you're all having excellent evenings. 
I bet uh, when you woke up today, you weren't expecting to be watching someone play Home Alone 2 on the NES, but uh, well, I, I exist to surprise you, so hope, uh, hope you're enjoying the stream, and thank you so much for checking it out. If you happen to have just found this because of the algorithm, and you want more of this incredible content, please do not forget to click the subscribe button. Uh, it's been greatly appreciated lately just how many people have been finding the channel, and glad you've been enjoying what you've seen. Uh, I know I didn't really have much uploaded this week, uh, as I was, you know, my throat was still kind of recovering, but I've been working on the Battletoads video and hope to have that out next week. So if you want to hear me rant about Battletoads, stay tuned. And I say rant, it's like, <laughs> I don't really rant, but I will hopefully critique it in a way not critiqued before. And just in case you absolutely love this music and have just, you know, spent the last five minutes putting it on your, on your MP3 player, on your iPod uh, shuffle, <laughs> or whatever iPod you use these days, uh, the SNES version's a lot better. So keep that in mind. It's funny when games have an NES and an SNES version, and they have the same soundtrack, but obviously one's 8-bit and one's 16-bit. Uh, it's fun to compare. Like, uh, Battletoads Double Dragon, for example has an NES version and an SNES version. And it's really funny listening to the tracks on one and listening to them on the other. Like, the NES versions I love, but the SNES versions are just like a whole other world with what they could do. You've been subscribed since it was called Andrew's Game Display. Well, thank you. You have been around for quite a while. You've searched Earthbound and found me because of my short. Wow, that blows my mind. That, you know, so many people have enjoyed that short, so thank you. I got a lot of comments, it's like, that's not why it didn't sell. Because, <laughs> uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I did a, a YouTube short where I say, the reason that Earthbound didn't sell is because the front cover doesn't really convey much about the game. And usually you want your main character on the cover. Because that kind of helps ground like, exactly what kind of game it is. Um, and you can see Ness on the cover of Earthbound, but he's in the reflection of a Starman's visor. So unless you're really looking closely, you're not going to see it. Uh, but... But yeah. So I made a, a YouTube short about that, and I get some comments that are like, it's not that hard to see him. And, you know, I own the big box, and even on that, I didn't notice it right away. I feel like this is just like, I need to take a hit. Because I have no health. Uh, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people probably don't realize he's on there. And if you just look at the cover of Earthbound, it's like, what is this game even really about? Is it like a, a robot fighting game? It's got lots of funky colors, but it doesn't really tell you much. So you wonder how the cover of something impacts its reception. But of course now, you know, with the cult following that Earthbound has, we can look at it and say, oh, it's a great cover. But that's because you know what the game's about already. Imagine you're going to the store and you don't know what it's about. Does the cover really tell you that? Not really. Okay, it's chef time. So you can't be under him when he lands, which I guess fair enough. But the timing's difficult. Otherwise. But thank you so much. I'm so happy that you uh, enjoyed that short. And I do have another YouTube short coming out soon. Is that like a... Do I gotta kill the hat? Okay. The, no! Okay, I got the full pizza, which is like a one-up. Whew! First level down. Now, Earthbound's uh, definitely not an easy game to find. So... Can we continue now from whatever level we game over at? Or do we always... That's scary. What is wrong with Kevin? Like, is... it looks like he his, like, inner muscle is showing. <laughs> it doesn't, like, it looks like he's been, like, skinned or something. It's awful. Ew. 
So in the movie, what happens is Kevin like pinches this woman's butt and then she turns around and thinks it was Marv that did it. So if you haven't seen the movie, this cutscene doesn't convey much. Marv is also just a floating head. <laughs> he doesn't even have a body, I guess after what Kevin did to him in the first game. But wow, the, the cutscenes in this game really drag. You've never understood the Mario cover where he's falling in lava? No, it's so true, as a kid. I always looked at the Mario 1 cover and I was like, what is even happening? Now the black box covers are weird, but they're classic, man. But they're weird. I will give you that. And this is going, isn't it? Like, if I wanted to watch the movie, I would just watch the movie. Get it? They're going to kill him! Ha 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 ha! We've talked a bit about it though, but which Home Alone do you prefer? Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2? And I think I enjoy Home Alone 2 a bit more just because I like the, uh, the New York setting. Even though it's pretty contrived and... <laughs> you know, you can point out like, that's not realistic. I just like seeing New York and such. So I think the second one probably. But alright! Finally we get control. Are we going left to right? Or right to left? We are too. I wonder what the initials are. Probably the people who made the game, I guess. So I don't think I've ever played this level of the NES version, just the Super NES version, so this should be interesting. It didn't even fill up my health. What a jerk game. Kevin kind of slides. It's like, I mean, I guess it's winter. It could be icy. And you kind of just got to crawl through the level because these guys appear out of nowhere. And you can kind of see them behind the bush, I guess. Sometimes. Sometimes they disappear completely. And I keep my weapons, which is interesting. In the uh, Super Nintendo version, I feel like you lose them, but I could be wrong about that. Lose them between levels. Not sure how you're supposed to get by that guy. Maybe, I guess I could be using the dark gun more. What is this? Can you climb the... Well, I, I hit a brick wall, everybody. This is the farthest that they programmed. The game's over now. Uh, I'm confused. Can you climb these posts? I, I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. You definitely can't go past that. Oh, okay, there's a block up there. Can I jump up this wall? Can I climb these then? Oh, oh, you can... All right, you have to jump onto the... Onto, like, the little lip. And then you can climb it. Okay. Not really obvious, but... I remember something like this in the Super Nintendo version, so... And I just revealed an item up there, and it didn't fall down. Oh, okay, so you jump. And then you land on top of the post. And then you can jump from the post onto the bricks. <laughs> Very realistic. Alright, we're climbing a wall. Which wall? Maybe the Great Wall of China. In the middle of New York. Here we go. We did it. Unfortunately, I can't, like, drop to the floor and grab any items I see now, so... We missed our chance. And do I just, like, make a jump for it? <laughs> Cowabunga! Alright. Hopefully there's a checkpoint. Okay, we're in the sewers now. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Okay, checkpoint, thank goodness. What are they doing? Like, like, pooping from their mouths or something. Okay, we did a thing. Not sure if that was a good thing or a... This better not be the beginning of the level. That better not be, like, back to the beginning of the level. Oh, it starts me here again? Wow. That's evil. So this will take our time, then. No need to rush. Oh, see, like, there's nothing you can do to defend yourself when you're on the ladder. Yeah, Marv and Harry really have a lot of friends. I thought I still had two health left. Did he take off two health? Wow. So I have a lot of weapons. I guess I should probably be using them. Ooh, that was lucky. And if you let go of the up button while you're climbing, you just fall right back down. Beautiful control. So can you climb all these then? No, you can't climb these ones. Okay, don't go too fast. That guy takes off apparently like all your health. Okay, so is this a new level now, I wonder? Because in the Super Nintendo version, this is like level three. And the way it works is that there's like a bunch of doors and you have to... You have, it's like a maze of doors. But normally falling into the floor... Is that actually the beginning of the game? Okay. <laughs> I think we're done for the night then. Uh, I, I, I can't do that again tonight. But the way it works in the Super Nintendo version is... You can fall through the floor because it's like a three-story house. So falling just takes you to like the floor below, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, that's going to be a big mess then. This game was only like four levels long. But... But yeah, <laughs> the NES version is even jankier than the Super Nintendo version, which I did not expect. I mean, actually, I did expect it, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Kevin Prices. Uh... <laughs> the kid's dead, Marv. That's it. Time to go home. Yeah, so it says continue, but it doesn't mean continue, continue. It means, like, continue back to the beginning of this crappy game. <laughs> uh, it was a night indeed, Christian, but it was a fun stream. Uh, and kind of just wanted to get back, you know, do a do a real stream. I mean, the last uh, Mario Party 1 I did, I was, uh, I was dying inside. Uh, but this one was kind of good to get back to the swing of things. And then, yes, tomorrow, keep an eye on the community tabs. Of course, anything could change. I could wake up tomorrow and just feel like the uh, embodiment of death. Hopefully not. Uh, but, again, the community tab will tell you all you need to know about what will probably be a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stream tomorrow night. So, thank you, everyone, for joining in this stream. I'm sorry that uh, Home Alone is such a weird game. We beat the first one, though. It was a lot of fun. Uh, mainly because, you know, it was fun because it was streamed with all of you and we got to have a good time together. But it was not really a fun game. Uh, and this one, uh, is a little bit better, but it's gonna take a bit of practice and I'm not in the mood for that at the moment, so hopefully tomorrow I can get this game done. But thanks everyone for joining and hope you have a wonderful night. Almost Friday, almost the weekend, so take care and see you soon. <laughs> sad came over music. Very sad. Kevin never saw his mom again. It's, it's dark. Home Alone is dark when you think about it. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you again for subscribing and hope you're looking forward to future streams. Hope to see you there. Good night, Christian. 
<laughs> the Jade Wizard. Shh. Do you want me to get demonetized? Uh, no, nobody dies in video games. Uh, uh, no, no, they just uh, go on vacation. I'm not. I'm just kidding. No censorship here. Take care of the Jade Wizard. <laughs>